Ooh, welcome in everybody. We are going to be playing some PGA golf tonight. Are uh, going to be playing my career. Uh, so yeah, we're going to play my career. Uh, we pl got fourth place, or sorry, third place in the tournament last night, and we also got what was the other one? Twenty uh, thirty ninth plus thirteen. So we're gonna go do the Northern Shore Open tonight. At least we'll get that. One. The Arnold Palmer, uh, the Arnold Palmer Invitational. If not, we'll do the Rockwell if we don't qualify for it, and maybe get to the Players Championship. Not one hundred percent sure. Let's get in game number one. Okay, we got Lexi Thompson. Who's going to be our rival at this one? We have to refill our golf balls, I think, for the first time. Okay, let's get some music going. Science. 2K Sports and the PGA Tour proud to bring you the season long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Ooh, Northern Shore wind. Open is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam in the booth, and out on the course following our feature group is the delightful Henny Quack. Hello, Henny. Hi Luke, I'm very happy to be following this featured group because there are rumours of a rivalry brewing the between these two players. Well, it looks like this player is aiming to beat Lexi Thompson, which very few people can boast. This should be an exciting showdown, Henny. Uh, Luke, Lexi's young but has been on tour for a 40 years it seems she's been playing forever she doesn't lack an experience she can do it all okay so we got Not some to wind mention, coming at us you'll be looking at her back for most of the day because she'll outdrive you yes lexi loves the long ball and so do we good luck in this rivalry because when lexi gets on top it's very hard to beat her they're going with a bit more club here let's see if it was That's the right call not ideal that wasn't the best we had to approach win. Beamer. let's see if we can get this one up and down for par Oh, it's not hard enough. Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. Hey, and that's an par. opening hole par for this player. Good start. That's a rock solid par right there. He's currently in a share of sixth. Now let's hear from our on-course reporter, John McCarthy, who I see is just rolling up his beach towel. Been striding the fairways here in Florida for the last couple of days leading up to the event. John, what's the Emory Beach Club all about? Well, Luke, one thing it's, right, about is, uh, really it's about is well. it's about water. Uh, mm -hmm. Water hazards will feature prominently on this course this week. The greens also very undulating. There are ridges. There are shelves. There are tiers. I hope the players have done their homework this week because uh, these approach shots into these greens just... They're always Not important, but start. especially so here at Emory Beach. Several holes feature one of Beamer's nemeses, uh, the tiny bunker. The tiny bunker is in play this week, so you got to be careful off the Ooh. tee as they seem to pop That's out rough for her. where you least expect them. Beautiful That's Florida rough for course, Lexi. though. Uh, I will enjoy the scenery, and I, I hope the Go players will here. enjoy the challenge of Emory Beach Club this week. Oh, in. What a super shot! Currently, yeah, hopefully we get that ball back. Unfortunately, backing up slowly but surely on that leaderboard, Luke. Teeing off here at the third hole. Really hoping they play this one aggressively. Well, this should find the short grass. Vince not really picking anything up here. 
Oh, I definitely don't want that song. This one might need to get down a little. Take might that. Get the birdie putt here. Go in. Oh, there we go. Let's and go. He holds it. Nice birdie. Punch. This player is putting for fun. And it's that man, JT, on top spot of this leaderboard. Good play from Justin Thomas. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Okay, three hundred yards. Nicely done. Playing this shot from about 180 yards. Just two shots behind. Come on, get down. Nice. That's a good shot by him. He'll be delighted. This one here, you know, this is, is for doing back here. to back birdies, moving him in the right direction. The rival now moving over to par. Lexi Thompson. She's currently trailing her rival. Let's see what happens Ooh, here. Just miss. Oh, that's a fantastic attempt, especially from that distance. But it didn't quite drop. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one. Just got to use the touch of a feather. Barely has to blow on it. This is just downhill. Oh, what a great stroke. Got it. Let's go. Oh, that's a sensational putt to make. Back to back birdies. The they just gave their rival. Come and catch me now. Just one off the lead after that hole. The fifth hole here at Emory Beach Golf Club is we have 172 wind yard par three from the back tees. Rich, what were your thoughts? Look, the water on the left-hand side really is just there for decoration. Doesn't come into play. The difficult part, though, is this oh, green sits shot. well above the fairway there on the left-hand side. Most players are going to be bailing out, not wanting to go in that bunker to the right, but you miss it out to the left. you got a really challenging up and down. This is not what we need right now. And here we are with the third shot. Just a stroke behind the leader. Good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole. This one's looking good. That's a good bogey in the end. They okay, were back Unreal to even. Two bogeys and two birdies. Justin Thomas is two our current leader. Lead. Trying to shake off the bogey on the last hole as they step onto this tee. Splash. Damn it. Nope. Not what we want. Justin Thomas, major champion, world number one player, really has all the attributes, doesn't he, Rich? He does. His focus on the, his own game is, is amazing. I, I think that this kid really understands how to play the game. He's got all the shots, but he doesn't try and get up there and hit it as hard as he can every single time. He gets out there and he learns how to play the game, hit the finesse shots when you need it, take some risks when you ha when you need to, but also back off when you don't need to. This kid is a real deal, complete game from head to toe. Okay, we gotta try to chip Time one in for the here. fifth shot. Only two shots off the pace. What's in front of them, Henny? Careful not to leave this one short. It's back uphill and nothing worse than leaving an uphill putt short. Nope. Ooh, right by the hole. Time to make a putt here. This one's for double. Oh, good start. And down it goes. Let's take Gotta a get look at Betsy Thompson, swings. shall we? She's one stroke behind her rival in this event. So after that effort, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Yeah, come on. Deep into the front nine, here we are at the seventh hole.
Oh, that is a thing of beauty. Hey, 275. And Henny, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? This is looking around 115 yards out. Going with the 9 iron, I think. Great looking shot, this. Oh. Didn't hit the flag. So not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Just oh. didn't drop. Oh. Just put it by. Right on four feet. Should make this one. This for par. Pick up par. Currently at two over par. I for 77. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Oh, this needs a little right turn, Clyde. This putt to move into the top 20 on the leaderboard. Oh, That's just missed again. Just three feet to the cup. Those are the ones we need. Now moving over to Lexi Thompson. Yeah, she's down. She's behind her rivals scooting ahead. Let's see what happens. Sunshine. It's time to check on the leaderboard. And as the school card suggests, heading up the leaderboard. A the par five job. awaits here, ah, but so does an opportunity. Take full advantage. Oh. Two over for the day. Seems to have chosen the three wood. A little slow. They say trees are 90% air, but so are fly screens. Try hitting a ball through one of those. Well, Rich, in the thick stuff here, not a good spot to be. Well, this will be a big birdie here. This is good putt to make. Ooh. Oh man, just oh, missing it by like that would have been a nice one to hold. A few inches here. Downhill there. putt, and certainly was robbed on that effort. Okay, so take far, so good, but it's only early days, Rich, in this rivalry. Up early on their rival, which is exactly where you want to be, but a lot of golf still to go until the end of the tournament. Spot for it. Yeah, that one will play. This shot is about 140 yards out. Four shots behind our leader. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Needs this one to kick right. Sitting at two over for the day. How close was that to going down? Close. Just a short putt remaining here. A par. Let's take a look at Lexi Thompson, shall we? It's been a little up and down but she's just one stroke back from her rival. Lexi from... How close was that to going oh, in the hole? 118, probably like a foot away. So after that effort, this is what the leaderboard looks like. Right for 70. Oh, I always love these holes. Here we have a par three. Going with a three wood here. Certainly good at making the birdies, but let's avoid those bogeys. Didn't give much wind. Setting up miles from the hole. Oh, oh I had the right missed. line. He's got a Are you not par out here. Let's see if he can make okay, it. Okay, another par. Now five strokes behind. Here we are, Rich, on the 12th tee at Emory Beach. And this par five is at 5.50 for the back tees. 
And what a hole this is. Bunker down the right-hand side. Real eight Comes off the play if you really miss hit it. But the one right in the center, that little zit, I tell you what, that is going to make some players angry. I can promise you that. If you avoid Ooh, all that, fast. second that's, shot, ooh. fairly straightforward. Anything bailing out to the right is going to lead to a really simple pitch shot for your up and down birdie. The ladies' game has been uh, dominated by Koreans for such a long time, but uh, America has been able to have this resurgence basically hey, off the back of Lexi Thompson spot. and the generation she's started Could to be worse. Lexi Thompson is so fun to watch Myself because she's got a very unique swing. And when you look at it, you, you Nailed kind it. of look back and you go, okay, that went a long way. Okay, that went right at the hole. And she's got such control over her golf ball. It, it's amazing. And Let's go. We got the birdie. And continue to pile up for her Jesus. year Ooh. after year. Plus one. I'm blown away by the fact that she is so Tied aggressive on first. every single shot. There is no laying up in her game, and I love that. Now, that might cost her a few wins, but I tell you what, she's going to have a lot of wins because of that as well. I love the way she plays the game. It's exciting. God, are you kidding me? It's going to fall in the water, sadly. Getting ready to play their third. Five shots off the pace. On her again. This one should oh. find the rough. Pretty damn close. Penny, how bad is this lie? He's eyeing this up, and he's pleased with what he's seeing. This is sitting nicely. Ooh, yeah, no, not where they wanted to go. This one's left. And this is going to be our turn. Right into the water on that one. Here's their sixth shot. Wind is blowing left to right. Going to try and hold it against the wind. Oh, I guess they're seeing something I'm not. They're going with less club here. Interesting. Now moving over to uh, Lexi Thompson. Is just She's trying me right to now. pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. Uh, this putt coming up is for triple bogey. Triple bogey. I gotta hit this. It's tracking. Was oh. that a good line? And this one's for quadruple bogey. Quadruple bogey. And a little slide down the standings after that hole. Oh. Next up is a par four. Always a stern test. Hopefully better than the last. Trying to shake off what happened on the previous hole. Time for the second shot at the 14th. Looks like they've got the five wood. Lining up from the sand now. One bad shot to another. Okay, phase one complete. Uh, you've got to make a good putt here. Eight feet to the cup. Hey, we well, got that's a momentum that. maintainer. Well done. Here we have a long par four. It's going to take two great shots to get on. Sometimes you hit some good ones. Sometimes you hit some bad ones. Going with the five iron here. Got great connection here. Yeah, this is looking good. What's in front of them, Henny, with this part? Yeah, nice little 25 footer here from him. Outside chance, so it'll be good to hold. Okay, steady yes. now. Yeah, that looked to be a bit of a misread. Not good, not good. Four feet to the cup. This putt to get even with Lexi. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. We'll hold. Let's take a look at Lexi Thompson, shall we? She's currently ahead in this rivalry. Let's see what happens. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Plus five. Tied this hole is a par three. Place. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Oh, 
Yeah, that was a safe play. 13 feet to the cup. Now they can move ahead here if they hold this and leave Lexi Thompson behind. Ouch, that hurts. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. Okay, Charlie by eight strokes now after that hole. Every Beach Golf Club is another one of these courses, Rich, that has a short par four at 17. Does, as you can see, massive bunker down the left-hand side. So players really want to bail out to the right and leave themselves with just a nice, short little pitch shot. Only the brave and the longest are really going to want to challenge this green. A great opportunity for one final birdie. And here we and are with the slow third shots shot. are killing me. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Big pass saver coming up for this fella. And down she goes. Come on now. Now moving over to Lexi Thompson. She made bogey, gave one back on the last hole. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. That was a gallant attempt. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. I for 88. And now striding to the final tee of this round. That's some good golf right there. Lining up from about 230 yards here. Opting for the three wood. It'll work. Oh, I like the courage here, Rich, getting after this par five in two. As they should. What a play. Hopefully they'll be rewarded for that play. Not bad. No, that's too bad. Just a four footer remaining. Don't want to miss it. Could be costly. And Big with birdie that, to end the tournament. Round comes to end the round, close. sorry. Not good at plus four, though. So the opening round of water in shots. The books, Rich, impressed with your efforts here in the booth. Thanks for your time. Same you, Luke. Same here. Looking forward to the next three rounds. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside and Rich B. And on behalf of all the hardworking folks at HB Studios. Okay. Uh, round two. Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season long okay, race. Very for the little wins today so far. Today's coverage of the Northern Shore Open is Slow about to begin. Very, not a very good you could join us for this second round feed. action. I'm Luke Elvey with Rich Beam here as we keep an eye on this player who's been trailing in the tournament but has a real opportunity today. They do. They need to get out there though and start firing at some flags. They've been playing very green. conservative all week long and you can't continue to do that with any hopes of winning you have to go ahead and start trying to take advantage of the conditions hit it close a few more times and until they start doing that i don't see them uh, catching the leaders well it's all set up for an exciting event can't wait to get into this and this putt coming up for his par okay and in she goes that's a good save Far to start absolutely in the bunker off the tee getting that one right for that 17 brucey bonus Let's see what happens here on the second hole. A fast shot. Always frustrated by missing a green. Uh, this would be a great up and down from this spot. Put it close enough. Just six feet between hopefully. here in the hole. Now this one, this is important. This for par. Okay. 
Save her. Let's take a look at Lexi Thompson, shall we? She's currently trailing her rival. Let's see what happens here. And how did that shot impact Seven. the score? Let's have a look at the leaderboard. Well, that's certainly a step in the right direction. Keep it going. Here we are at the third. And after a part of the last, chance to maybe take a step in the right direction here. Apparently that bad. was slow. And what are we looking at here, Henny? Yeah, he's got roughly 110 to the pin here. Going for less club here. Oh, that's a lovely looking shot into birdie range here at the third. Oh, these are good for the momentum, these ones, right on eight feet. This looks like it's got the speed and the line. Birdie. And that will drop in for no. birdie. Oh, bird. Now moving over to Lexi Thompson. Yeah, she's down. She's behind her rivals scooting ahead. Lexi Let's from see here for her. Big she time play that one at the right time too. And now this is why you can never get comfortable, even if you're leading a I PGA Tour pro. Plus three. This is what they do. They mean business. That's not the one he wanted. Sitting at three over. Looks to be going with the six iron. Okay, not the best result, this but a Bird. chance to get up and down. Distance control nearly impossible coming out of this rough. Uh, what have they got in front of them here, Henny? Setting up this putt, 22 oh, feet from the cut. Okay. That That's works. a good putt to make. We'll take that. Save par. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. There's always a sense of excitement striding onto the tee of a par three hole. And choosing the eight iron here. That one should find the surface. Taking things up a notch in this Lexi Thompson rivalry, that shot will add some fuel to the fire. Oh, that's going to be left oh, of the hole. Gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Putting for par. That's par a disappointing though. par in the end after such a terrific shot in. Golf is a game of confidence, and I like it. Taking the big dog off the tee. Looks like they got all of that one. That's on a good line. I'll take that Still over. Still a chance the, to take attack that this over hole the, uh, from the first cut. Water any day of the week. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, that's going to be slow. That's painful. Yeah, quality shot, that. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. And this part to move into the top ten. Looking really good, this one. Need to go more. Just didn't drop. Putting for a par now. I'll take par, though. Let's take a look at Lexi Thompson, shall Gotta we? Gotta get rid of those She's slow shots. She's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks. He finds himself in a share of 13th. Tied for 13th. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. Ting off here at the 7th. That's tidy. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? And from about 105 yards. Any bounce to the left here would be helpful. Now moving He's over to Lexi Thompson. There and roll down she a bit, got one but... back on that last hole. And Henny, what are they looking at here? Has to put this one downhill. Come on, don't be shy. 
Super shot that. And he'll move into the top 10. Still plus two, but two over par. And after that, good play, eighth. moving up the leaderboard. And now stepping onto this par three hole. Looks to be going with the five iron. Hope it gets a good kick to the left. Let's take a look at Lexi Thompson, shall we? Uh, she had spot. a bad no, previous shot. hole, came off with bogey. They know, they know, they know. Time for the second shot at the eighth. This putt for par here. I like the look of this. Ooh, no. Wow. That's misjudged. Three feet to go here to the hole. This will be a good bogey. Not what we need it. Tied for He's 15th. Tied no. for 15th. Gotta say, just some of the best rhythm in the game. Time for the second shot here at the ninth. Oops, this one's headed for the rough. Sitting at three over par. The eagle. Ooh, that almost went down. Off. Good look at a birdie here. Tracking. Oh, that's frustrating. Er. You finished your work on that Easy. hole. Easy. Let's take a look at the next one. Eagles. Let's see what happens here Birdies. at the tenth hole. Oh, that sounded absolutely flushed. And Henny, what's he facing with this one? And from around 135 yards. And here we are with the third shot. Oh. I couldn't have had that well, last shot. For this part, Henny. Yeah, he's staring down about 12 feet. This is huge for momentum. Got to try and hold this. This for par. Well hold. Trailing by seven after that hole. Tied for Here we 12. are in front of a par three. Going with the five wood. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. Long way away from the hole if they want to make the birdie, though. Good opportunity coming up to move into the top ten on the leaderboard. That'd be harder That'd than that. Good chance this one right on six feet on a nice line and in it goes for the par damn it now moving over to lexi thompson she's currently trailing her rival let's see what happens here let's take a look at the leaderboard currently at I plus 13. three for the event let's head to the 12 hole and what a hole this is. Bunker down the right-hand side comes into play if you really miss hit it. But the one right in the center, that little zit, I tell you what, that is going to make some players tea. angry. I can promise you that. If you avoid all that, second shot, fairly straightforward. Anything bailing out to the right is going to lead to a really simple pitch shot for your up-and-down birdie. Beauty of a chip shot there. Reminds me of the song by the Tubes, She's a Beauty. Time for the second shot at the 12. I wish it was more to the left. This line doesn't look too tough, just in the first cut, right by the green.
Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Putting for birdie here. Birdie. And down it goes. I oh, will take down that. the plus two. The top ten to boot. Our leader is a couple of shots Tied up from at this nine. stage. Let's see what happens here on the 13th hole, shall we? Yeah, That's a little not bit what he had hoped for, I'm pretty sure of that. Rough there. Henny, how's that ball lying? It's not on the fairway, but it's not bad. It's a good lie in the first cut. Not slow. Getting ready to play their third. Didn't that look good for a long time? That was worthy of another look. Oh, I don't want to. I hit the wrong button. Golf is annoying. <laughs> Let's see if you can make this. Keep the par on the car. So far, so good. Well done. Now, seven shots behind after that. Plus two. All right, getting into our final stretch. Time to tee off here at the 14th. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. Well, let's see how this shot goes from the fairway bunker. Well, that was a good strike. Let's take a look at Lexi Thompson, shall we? Coming off a bogey on the last hole. Okay, Ooh, time to return course. to the action. And here we are with the third shot. This part of about six feet coming up. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Hey, Very impressive. That's a fighting effort. Hit it in strife, but managed to make a good score regardless. Bunkered off the tee, wasn't able to find the green, but saves the par with that putt. Lovely rhythm there, Rich. That's going to work every time. What kind of shot are they tee. facing here, Henny? Yeah, he's about 155 from this whole location. Choosing the 9 iron here. Just needs a little bit more of a Ooh. kick to the right. Bad got back. a little out of control, I think. Oh, a little shorty Baker on that action there. Well, that's an impressive little chip. Judging it beautifully. He's currently tied for ninth. Oh, plus two. With Let's another see what power. happens here at the 16th. Eight days a week, that rhythm works. Yeah, not a bad effort, that not one. Bad. Up onto the green, and I'll a chance to hold it here, too. Here's Lexi Hopefully we Thompson. get a birdie. And back to the play, shall we? How close? What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? This is downhill. Can't be too bold. We'll need a little more. Ooh, right by the hole. Putting for a par here. Are unable to take advantage of the great it. approach there, Rich. So we'll be happy with it. Let's see what happens here at the 17th. Really hoping they play this one aggressively. Hey. How close was that to going down? Oh, these are big momentum putts. Let's make this one from nine feet. This is their look at birdie. Birdie, and let's go. That, that's their fourth birdie. Plus one. Trailing by five shots after that hole. Tied for eight. Teeing off here at the lucky last, the 18.
Nicely done. Well, that's Could probably took a little more off all their there, talents there. That's impressive. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. So close to the close eagle. Enough. We'll take the birdie. Always nice when you can just go ahead and tap one in for birdie. Good way to end the round to back end. to even. And as they finish up their round, they find themselves in sixth place on the leaderboard. Minus four Save on the round. Luke. See you tomorrow. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. Place. I'm Luke Elvey, and on behalf of Rich Beam, plus all the hardworking folks at a Channel Zoom. Okay, let's go round three. How are we all doing tonight? Hope you're all having a good night. 2K Sports, in association with the Club PGA Brown Tour, Street. is delighted to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. To win. Today's coverage of the Northern Shore Open is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this third round action. Same spot as last time. Hi, everyone. Luke Elby alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, this player is trailing. Do they have to really step it up and get it going today? Right now, the top 10, and I got to say, this is a step in the right direction for this player. They haven't showed much over the year, so right now, some positive vibes happening for them. Today's promising to be an exciting one, so let's get straight into the action. Oh. A bit long on that one. Par putt coming up here. It was on a good Ooh. line. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. Well, that's Lost a shame one. not to par the first. Always hurts. Starting off with the bogey not first, the not tragic. You got a lot of holes to make it up. Let's see how they deal with it going forward. The tempo there was exquisite. Man, the approach didn't seem to fit their eye. Oh, the wind wreaks havoc with another golf ball. This would be a great par putt if he can make this. Oh, so close. Oh, just a tiny putt. Is all back to back remains. bogeys to start the round. Yeah, just can't seem to get off the bogey train here, Rich. Plus and making two. one bad mistake with another, compounding it, not good. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. That was wonderfully done. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? He's got roughly 105 yards here. Wonderfully played. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. Come on, ball. Don't deny him. Oh, just well, missed. That's yeah, a bit disappointing. Big par. Oh, well hold. Let's move on. Sitting at a couple Big of shots over back the event. Lead. This hole here is a par four. Now they've sliced that one. Where will this one end up? Uh, not quite the shot he was wanting. Second shot here on the fourth. Getting ready to play their the first. Wind back into their grill. They need to flight this one down. That's just inside the range. He's had a tough time of it on the greens here today. Hopefully all that'll change right here. This putt to try and save their par. Good. That's a good putt to make. That sets the great players from save the good par. ones. It was nice to see that go in because it has been pretty darn ugly up to this point. Let's see what happens here at the fifth.
Kings. Playing within yeah. their comfort zone there. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? He's staring down 23 feet here. He's staring down a birdie putt here. Oh, oh what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. In she goes. Again. Let's head to the next. Eight for nine. This hole is a par five. And after that par, they're looking for something good here. Sitting at two over in a share of ninth position. Hide. That's nicely done. From around 180 yards out. Downwind on this shot. I'd be booking in for some How lessons am I if slow I was swinging on like that. Every swing right now. Uh, a little off the mark on that approach shot. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad though. This is their fifth shot. Wow, that almost there went in the hole. Bogey again. This next putt is for Bogey. He finds himself That's currently sweet. in tenth. Next up is this two-shot hole. Yep, that'll work. That's fine. Sitting at three over, currently in tenth place. Opting for the nine iron. Why that was slow. And here we are with the third shot. And if this can go down, oh, it'll save this is not working out for me very well right now. Looks good off the blade. For the par. Save par. Plus two. Plus two. Two strokes lead. Three. This one's a par three. This one's left of the green. He hit that pretty loose. Yep, that's a water ball. Getting ready to play their third. Wind's blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the one in here. These little members bounce to the right. Oh, tidy looking shot that. Well, Rich, think they can make this one? I really can't say I'm a fan of their chances on this one, Luke, but I tell you what, I've been wrong once before. Double bogey. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Plus five. Oh, exciting times on the tee of a par five. And coming off that double bogey then last makes it even more difficult. Well, that's a handy shot. Still looking for their first win of the season. A couple of top fives so far this year, Luke, but hasn't gotten the W yet, but it's close. Take that. Yeah, this is the stuff we love. Getting out for this par five in two. I tell you what, what a sensational play. This player stepped up their game. A bold play, hopefully a bold reward. Looking really good this one. Boom. Let's go. That's a eagle putt. and an eagle as well. Needed that. Oh, here he Back comes. to plus Into three. The top ten with a bolt. And just with nine Eyes holes remaining, night. Rich, what do you think here is going to happen for this player? Well, Luke, it's been fun watching this player duke it out with their rival, that's for sure. They're winning the rivalry thus far. Should be fun to see where these two end up at the end of the event. Sitting at three over in a share of ninth. Going with the pitching wedge here. All right, going with a little bit more club. Let's see. Wow, nice. what a nice. shot. Nice. Nearly doesn't get any better than that. Amazing shot. Always nice to have a birdie putt. Oh, 
on, turn back. Oh, oh lovely you roll. You gotta be kidding me. And that should secure the power Almost. of this one. Almost. Big car. He finds himself in a share of eighth. On the tee of a par three. Oh, you couldn't paint a better picture. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Now this wind really starting to get up. That was well managed. Seven feet to the cup. Little birdie look in here. Birdie. The Let's go. Plus two. Now eight shots back after that hole. Eighth place. Welcome to this par five hole. And what a hole this is. Bunker down the right-hand side comes into play if you really miss hit it. But the one right in the center, that little zit, I tell you what, that is going to make some players angry. I can promise you that. If you avoid all that, second shot, fairly straightforward. Anything bailing out to the right is going to lead to a really simple pitch shot for your up and down birdie. Ooh. Okay. Okay, win. And here we are with the third shot. Nice. Almost went down. A birdie putt awaits. Gets birdie. a one to go down, and that's back to back one. birdies. Still an eight. Gotta like it. Two in a row. Well, 13. That's unlucky for some, Rich. That is absolutely spot on. Keep that far away from the water. That's not good. Well, this would be a bonus. This is a very long putt. Ouch, that hurts. Five feet coming up to the cup. That will work. Even for par. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. Oh, just absolutely abused the golf ball there with that shot. Hey, 329. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? This whole location for him, well, it's about 185 yards out. This one looks oh. like it's going right. That's not the outcome they were after. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. Oh, That's a good we got lucky. That one. Okay. Arr. Sitting at one over for the event. Always Dog like to room. see your name moving up the leaderboard. Eight shots Never off a bad in the lead. Thing. Let's see what happens here on the 15th. You like that, didn't you? Playing this shot from about 180 yards. Wind is blowing from right to left here. Wants to work it against the wind. Woo! -hoo -hoo! What a shot. Yeah, nice looking shot there. Already had a few that was beautiful. Today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. And they'll tap this in for birdie. We are back to even. Now. Back to level par. Seventh place. Stepping up to the 16th tee now. Looks like they're going with the pitching oh, wedge. That's not good. Well, a little off the target with that one. From the sand, are they able to get up and down? Oh, that one just missed the hole. Just three feet to go to the hole. Don't miss Big this. Part. They can be costly. And that par ensures he'll stay right there at even par. This hole is a par four. Really hoping they play this one aggressively. Now, great rhythm on that swing. 
Time for the second shot for at the 17th. Here. A little too hard. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, I thought Ooh, that one just was going missed. in. An opportunity to make a par here. So, no movement on the leaderboard there. Remaining hey, eight. Hey, that was overall. par. Well, here we are. The 18th hole. Three twenty six. Oh, well done. Seems to have chosen the three wood. I'll take that. Handy effort that one. Chance to sneak into the top. Okay, we got five a shot here. at an eagle. If not, we got birdie, hopefully. Oh, just missed. A chance for a birdie if this goes down. Gets that one to go down, and that'll end the day's work. So another round in the books, and managing to maintain hey, their position on the leaderboard. Minus Giving themselves one. a chance, Rich. We're minus one on no the day. No mistakes required tomorrow. They need to go out there and play well, make birdies early and often, Hide for get six. as close to that lead as early as they can. Way behind. On behalf of myself, Rich Bean, and all the hard-working folks at 2K Sports, thanks for tuning in. Beat Zach. We had a plus four, a minus four, and a minus one. Okay, what is this? UK Sports in association with All the right. PGA Tour Brown. proudly presents the season long Four. race for the FedEx Can Cup. Today's coverage of, of the Northern the Shore Open time. is about to begin. Pleased you could join and us for this final the round action. Is yes, but it's in the Hi, I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam. It's been great to have your company here. And Rich, we're into the final round now. What's our next player dealing with as they get it underway? Look, this player starts off the final round a couple behind the lead. And let's face it, they need to have some inspiring golf out there today. They need to make birdies early and often if they want to chase down that leader. It Ooh. sets up for a very let's exciting go. final round. Oh, I've got those nice special chip in chills up the birdie. spine. I know today's going to be a beauty. Let's get into it. Why not take another look at that effort? Oh, have yeah, look, look at, at that. those hands. What a chip shot. I'm looking stars. Nice. Currently two under for the event. I for fifth. Now on the tee, fresh off a of birdie, a great opportunity to build on that momentum. Going with the eight iron here. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the birdie range, but you never know. I On a long one, still start. counts. An opportunity for a birdie here. That was a Ooh. gallant attempt. And just a little bit of clean-up work remaining on this hole. 
managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. Teeing off here at the third hole. Oh, that's a sweet looking swing, that one. Playing this shot from around 120 yards. They've decided to club up. Oh, terrific approach and a chance for Birdie shot. here at the third. Full of confidence Birdie as here. well with their putter. Gotta like their chances. This is on a great line. Let's go, oh, it's a birdie. Oh, terrific. What an effort. Minus three. Solid play finds that player moving up the he leaderboard after company. that hole. Always the toughest hole in the game. A long par four. Oh, great swing there. Let's go. And he's down there. Setting up here from about 195 yards. Oh no. Going with the hybrid. We're doing so good. Okay, let's see if we can save par here. And here we are with the third shot. Currently four shots off the pace. Well, good looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. Got a good shot at saving oh, par. Stop it. What a shot. He has this putt to save his par. Ooh, we okay. it up. Steady now. Okay. Yeah, well, Hoggy. Let's move on to the next. It's time to step onto the tee here at the fifth. Just in case Lexi thought that she was going to dominate the match today in this rivalry, he's come out and put that no! down. Laid that gauntlet down. And now I think things will get interesting. Oh, that one hurts. Now five strokes behind. After such a beautiful Here we shot. Have a long power five. Let's put this over. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. Time for the second shot here at the sixth. the club for that well Baby. struck getting ready to play their third five shots off the lead yeah good swing this one's heading up onto the green for sure and this part okay this is for birdie Just didn't drop. Yes. A par putt on the table. Big par the current leader is enjoying a one shot lead. High for fifth. Time to take a look at what this par four might be in order. Well, that's a touch of the Freddie Couples rhythm right there. Low down. Thank From you. About 100 yards. Five strokes behind our leader. Chosen the pitching wedge here. This is looking pretty good in the air. This would be a great up and down. Too hard. And just about eight feet left to the hole. He's got this for his part. Up par though. That gets the job done. Trailing by five shots after that hole. Slow down. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. Going with the six iron here. That's a pretty handy shot. Oh, that's beautifully judged. Well, Rich, from where I'm sitting, this looks makeable. Do you agree? 
Look, I got to say, I'm really not liking their chances here, but you Damn never it. know. Stranger things have happened. So that one raced by. Bit of work coming back. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. Nicely hold. And for par. He finds himself currently tied for fifth. Teeing off now on the ninth hole. That dog will hunt. No! And that one's headed to the drink. Again. And here we are with their four. Five shots off the pace. Punker. Playing their oh, fifth shot. Punker. Five shots off the lead. Didn't that look good for a long time? Okay, Henny. What's he looking at with this putt? They've just got to focus on hitting the back of the cup, guys. This is up the hill. Bit of extra juice needed. Got it. That limits the damage. Bogey, though. He's currently sitting in sixth position. Sends us back to minus one. A chance to put last hole's bogey behind them here at this team. A couple of birdies and a couple of bogeys. That's in he has to get something going here today. Oh, it's in the rough. That's a chunky lie. It's going to take all their talents to get out of this one. Yeah, this is lovely. Not sure if that's what they're intending to do. Now, coming out of the rough, missing the green was always in the cards. How close was that to going down? A good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole. Ooh. And this one is God, for bogey. Kidding me. And that putter's hold, and that means it's back to back hey, bogeys, back unfortunately. To even. Two bogeys in a row, never a good sign now playing a little defensively let's see what happens here at the 11th hole going with a three wood here oh, that's gonna be a water bound oh it's not okay all right facing a little up and down here to save the par Oh, that's a tasty looking chip. Her top shot. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. As we head now to the par five next. And what a hole this is. Bunker down the right hand side comes into play if you really miss hit it. But the one right Ace. in the center, that little zit. I tell you what, that is going to make some players angry. I can promise you that. If you avoid all that, second shot, fairly straightforward. Anything bailing out to the right is going to lead to a really simple pitch shot for your up and down birdie. Not a good shot. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, that's way over. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. Punt is underway. Hey, Per. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. Ah, that's not the shot he's hoping for. And Henny, what's he looking at here? I'd say he's about 165 from this flag. Opting for the five iron. Yeah, I'll take yeah, a quality that. shot from him. He'll be pleased. Outside chance here for the birdie. Trying to get to two under with this putt. This for a birdie birdie run. Big chance here. It's in. And the extremely long putt will drop. Let's go. Well done. And with it, he'll move to a couple under par. That shot's so good, we need to have another look. What an amazing putt from Beautiful putt. Oh, 
literally six feet out. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Minus two, tied for fifth. It's time to tee off here at the 14th hole. Look, this player coming off a birdie on the last hole, getting some momentum going their direction. Good shot there. It's a fairway finder for sure. Okay. This shot here near the 200-yard marker. Five strokes behind our leader. Going with the five iron here. The Quality right. shot, that one. What's in front of them, Henny, with this putt? Setting up this putt 27 feet from the cup. Looking really good. Oh, sensational putt. Let's go. One. A big play at the right time, and their rival is now shaking in their boots. Well, that's worth reviewing. Let's roll the videotape. Now this, this is how you putt. Take another look at this. That one was a 27 foot putt. Trailing by four strokes. Eight for fifth. Time to step on your tee shot here at this long par four. Beautiful swing there. Lining up from around 160 um, yards. Four strokes off the lead. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Yeah, that's decent. Shot into the 15th and a chance for birdie. 12 feet to the cup coming up. This is what they have left for birdie here. Oh, I did oh, not turn it That off. line was looking good, wasn't it? Nice line. And the putt drops. Okay. Now at three under, heading down the stretch. Hey, par. He's currently in the fifth position. Okay. Ooh, we're at the par three here. I love these holes. Going with the pitching oh, wedge no. here. Oh no, oh no. Uh, that always looked wet, didn't it? Not the way to end this. Getting ready to play their third. Four shots behind our leader. This is the all-important stretch. Time to make your move. And he's safe here on the green there. with that shot. And he's down there. You got a read? Can't be too aggressive here. Take your medicine and move on. This is down the hill. Oh, that sucks. And this next putt here is for a double bogey. Currently one under Back for the to tournament. Minus one. Here we have a short par four. Okay. Definitely wow. needs Second to make a move on the field, and this is a golden opportunity on the short par Not four. For broke what here. will they do? That's a good looking shot there. Second shot here on the 17th hole. Too fast. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. Oh, that's a lengthy putt. Well hold. Step aside, gents. This man's marching into the top Got five. It. Let's go. Well, that's worth a replay. Let's take another look. I could watch this one all day. Who would have thought that would go in? That's a beautiful putt. Thirty-two footer. Trailing by six shots after that hole. Minus two. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Oh, 
shot. Well played, mate. Time for the second shot on the 18th. Opting for the three wood. Hey, we got a putt and a half Beamer. here. And this putt for a final score of 68. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. It was on a good line. This putt right on 10 feet, a good one to make. Oh, Ooh, so we missed that. An opportunity to make their par. Okay. And with that putt, that'll bring his tournament we to a close. We finished the tournament. And Henning, here we were at the start of this rivalry. In doubting they even had the capabilities to take them on. Matt Wallace. Let alone whop them like that. Well, the two Matt, Luke, got tied that was fifth. really incredible Bubba stuff. Watson, it was a pleasure and to walk the fairways Edward and Norlander watch that performance, third, that dominant Tommy performance. Fleetwood As you second, said, we didn't expect a victory, let alone a victory like that. With a minus 10. Well, that'll just about do it. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time. And we wrecked Lex Lexi Thompson, 60 to minus 19. We had one eagle, 19 birdies. Downfall to that was the nine bogeys, the four double bogeys. That hurt. All right, let's see what our next tournament is. Hi, hi. Oh, reject yourself by kill switch. Not bad. So we're fifth in the uh, FedEx standings. So we are invited to the Arnold Palmer Invitational. So let's actually go that. Justin Thomas is going to be our competitor. Let's go. The season long race for the FedEx Cup. Projected Today's coverage of the Arnold 14. Palmer Invitational is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Bean. Start off the booth, with a nice and it's hello to Henny Quack uh, down on the course following our featured group today. Hi, Luke. I'm very happy to be following this particular featured group because there are rumors of quite the rivalry Slow. starting to bubble between these two players. So it looks like the they aim to beat Justin Thomas. Should add a bit of extra excitement to our coverage today, Henny. Oh, that goes It'll without saying, here, Luke, but putt. Justin Thomas will not be easy to beat. I don't think there's a more competitive man out there on tour. No, you're absolutely right there. He's a complete player. It'll certainly be interesting to keep an eye on this oh, rivalry throughout the event. Just three feet to the cup. Okay, we take a par to start off. Nothing wrong with an opening par, just easing their way into this round. The second hole is a long par three, old typical Redan style at 230 yards. Yes, the green runs from right to left and chases away from the player on the tee. You can hit it short right and have it bounce on to the flag six that are on the right. However, when they're in the back left, you don't want to come up short and left in a low area. That'll leave a very difficult up and down. Hey, we're on the green. What's in front of them, Henning? Setting up this putt 21 feet from the cup. My what God. a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. Yeah, that putt will pushed. Eight feet to the cup. Oh, just missed. This one's for bogey. bogey. 
plus one already. And this effort by Justin Thomas. He's currently in third place. Get your soul. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. Currently at plus one for the tournament. Both myself and Justin Thomas are at Rich, plus the one. the first exposure to the famous lake here at Arnold Palmer's Bay Hill Club and Lodge is the third. There's a lot of intimidating tee shots on this golf course, Luke. This could be number one. Water down the left-hand side you obviously want no part of, but if you miss it right in the rough, that is very gnarly and nasty to come out of. The green works away from the player, moving from right to left. The miss is out to the right, but watch out. It's John's awfully quick awfully coming down that green. Either. Don't chip it or putt it in the water. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Just oh, the birdie yes. just slides by. Big par. And finishing this hole with a little tap in. Well, that Plus was a one. positive hole. A little shift up Truth, the leaderboard. Uh, Ball play. Three. Ah, That's it's a tad disappointing, left. isn't it? Time for the second shot here at the fourth. Layup. Pretty good shot there. Now let's switch our focus to Justin Thomas. It's been neck and neck. He's actually tied with his rival. Fourth shot from Thomas. This is tough. Can he do it? Okay, let's get back to the action. Henny, what's the player facing here? He's got, mm, I'd say, a solid 145 here. Keep your fingers crossed for a bounce to the right. Playing yeah, their fourth shot. In here. He's two shots back. Not hard enough. And a par putt awaits him. They've got this putt to pull ahead of Justin Thomas. This group rivalry could Big get par, interesting. Though. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Tied for 66. The fifth at Bay Hill is the shortest par four on the front nine, measuring just under 400 yards. Ridge, placement off the tee, critical here. It is. It plays straight downhill the entire way, so most players not taking driver out and challenging those bunkers. Lay up short of those, and, and you'll have a short shot to a green that once again chases oh. away from you at Very the back slow. end of it. And here we are with the third shot. Two strokes off the lead. Nice recovery shot. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. This would be a good putt to make to move inside the top 20 on the leaderboard. And we missed the part. That's frustrating. You know, Luke Donald once made all 400 plus attempts plus inside two, three feet tied of the PGA for Tour. 71st. Now we head to the famous par five, sixth rich. A lot of players are thinking birdie, maybe even eagle. Out to the right, most definitely the widest part of the fairway, just left of the left hand bunker out there. We'll leave a layup out to the right, and then you just have a short pitch on from there. This is a really solid birdie opportunity. Getting ready to play their third. This is three shots Eagle. off the lead. Time oh, now these slow the shots shot. are killing me. Three behind our leader. Well, you like the look of those hands. Such soft hands. Big par. Now let's head over and see what JT's been doing. He's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks. I for 66. Let's have a look at the seventh hole of par three. Finally, you have a green that pitches back towards you ever so slightly, Luke, but still coming into it with a good six, five iron from 195 yards. It's still a difficult task to get it close. Lovely effort, that. It probably clubbed up, I think. And this effort by Justin Thomas. It's been neck and neck. He's actually tied with his rival. This is tough. 
Can he do it? All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this putt? Setting up this putt 17 feet from the cup. That putt ends up just short of the hole. Tell you what, I, watch out. This guy's going to be on full tilt here shortly. The par four eighth, Rich, uh, challenging tee shot and approach. Love this tee shot here, Luke. The fairway camera's pretty good from right to left, kicking the golf ball towards that bunker. So make sure to take one less club off this tee. From there, you make sure that you take enough club for your second shot to carry the front edge. If not, that golf ball will come falling back off the green into the drink. All right, he's going with a little extra club, gone against the caddy here. Let's see if it was the right shout. Okay, well, that'll work up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. Butting for birdie. Go on, get in the hole. Can't make a putt right now. Birdie pump Gameplay is always so close so to dropping. For the lurk. A chance to get amongst the action of the top 20. This putt drops. Sitting at two <sighs> over for the day. Hey. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. Wow, that's an incredible drive. And Henny, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? He's looking Kill at me. perhaps 175, I'd say. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Oh, that was pure. And this part to move into the top ten. <sighs> now, that wide. hurts. Three feet to go here to the hole. That's tracking. Par again. Now let's switch our focus to Justin Thomas. He's just coming off a drop shot on that last hole. Yeah, so I can hit some of these putts. They're going to be doing so well. And as we step onto the 10th tee, Rich, back always good lead. to look back at the nine holes just played. Luke, so far, it's been entertaining watching these two go head to head. Not too sure exactly how this is going to play out, but so far, so good. Love watching these two compete. Sitting at a couple of shots over par. Going with the nine iron, I think. Slow on that one. Just take a look at this one, Rich. Do you think it's makeable? Luke, I, I just don't see this happening. I tell you, I'd love to see this player prove me wrong, though. Just in front. That was a close. A waits. Okay, we'll take Our work is done. Let's head to the next hole. Now let's head over and see what JT's been doing. He's got some work to do, but he's only one back from his rival. Now four back after that hole. I for 51st. The par for 11th resembles the par for third, doesn't it? The big lake on the left-hand side. It does. It just has a little more landing room here on the left-hand side, however. But if you lay back, be prepared to go in with a long iron. If you take the driver out and successful, you now turn this challenging hole into almost a birdie opportunity. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. This one needs to kick left. Decent, decent. And hitting yet another green here today. It's and amazing to difficult. see how good this player is in full flow. Okay, steady now. Not so far and off. And this one is for his par. And now three strokes back after that hole. Another par. And the 12th hole, Rich, similar to the 4th hole. Arnold Palmer has really started to mimic front and back nines. He does. It's kind of the same thing. Out of bounds, out to the right. Um, You've got to avoid both those bunkers there, that. both right and left. You find the fairway. Again, second shot slightly uphill to a green that sits above you. One of the big dangers here, though, is going long. That is a big no-no to miss it long on this 12th. And here we are with the third shot. Just three strokes back. Perfect. So much easier when you roll like that, isn't it? Yes. Easiest putt we're going to have all day for Birdie. Tempo there on that chip. 
And this effort by Justin Thomas. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Starting to look really good. And let's see what that shot did to the leaderboard. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Plus one, tied Number 13, brilliant. not a long hole by anyone's stretch, but the pond in front of the green really plays havoc. It does, more so than it should. It's just a long iron or a hybrid off the tee. Find the fairway down the right-hand side, open up the angle for your second shot, and it's obvious you just don't want to miss your second shot right. So bail out to the left-hand side, make a par. Pretty simple. Come on, get a good bounce to the left. And this player hey. seems to not be too intimidated having Justin Thomas in their group today. That was a fantastic shot into this green. The Ooh, drops, and butt. that's back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back back -back birdies move in the right direction there, Luke. And that'll move him to Five even for, for the tournament. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Needs this to kick a bit left. Not Damn the it. result they were after there. A bit short with that effort. <laughs> That's almost a gimme. Great chip. Hey, we'll Great take fire. touch. Now let's switch okay, our focus yeah, to Justin Thomas. Yeah, he just made bogey on that last one. <laughs> oh, what a ripper from long range. And that'll be a big boost to his standings on the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. So we get into the closing stretch here at Bay Hill. The 15th par four. Strong par four. Your dog legs from left to right. Don't miss it out to the right in that bunker. Not only are you hitting your second shot out of the trap, but also you've got some magnolia trees to deal with. This is a very difficult fairway to find because that fairway does chase away from you just over that bunker. This is a very strong par four. Hey, get getting ready to play there, 30. 30. Just one stroke back and right in it. That silky touch from around got the greens. A lovely shot to chip in. Oh, gotta love it. Chipping in for birdie. Nothing better. Moments like that deserve another look. Perfect distance, perfectly judged, and look at that. Straight that in the in. hole. Now let's head over and see what JT's been doing. He's feeling good, just birdied the last hole. Let's catch up with the current proceedings. So with that one, we He's have tied, tied for first. For first. Well, one of the great parts of the finish here of Bay Hills Club and Lodge, Rich, is the fluctuations in scoring, and it all starts here at the par 5 16th. Luke, you got to take advantage of this par 5. It's just over 500 yards. Find the fairway. Don't flirt with either of those bunkers out there. Second shot should be with a middle to long iron to a green that's surrounded by water on the left and bunkers on the right. But oh, still, we are lucky. it's a great opportunity to make four Probably or better. Probably should have clubbed up one there, but a chance to get to three under with this putt. A great Let's see what happens here. here. This for Eagle. Let's oh, go! Guys, we got the Love lead. Shot. And with that, that Eagle. We'll move to three under par. Minus three. And with that, he's now broken the tie. All alone in the top a of the Two shot ball. lead. The par 317th, Rich, has got a wonderful atmosphere around it. Looks visually quite stunning, but my word, it's a brute. This hole causes more stress for the players, That's I think, than any other hole on the golf course, with possibly the exception of number three. This green is nearly impossible to find as it is so firm historically through the years. Ooh, we just you missed another green, chip in. You make your three, and you're smiling earlobe we'll take ear. Take and this effort by Justin Thomas. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Leading by a couple after that hole. Hey, hole number 18. Rich, as we head to the finishing four. hole here at Bay Hill, a famous finishing hole. So much drama over the years, predominantly by the great Tiger Woods. But most of the drama starts off the tee. 
It does. This is actually a semi-blind tee shot. There's a mound down the right-hand side of the fairway where you can't see the golf balls land, so players won't know whether they found the fairway or missed it right or even out on the left-hand side. Most iconic moments in all of golf, in my mind's eye, Robert Gomez holding his second shot back hunting. in 1990 to play in the title. That was a beauty. Good putters will make these. Right on five feet. That no. was a gallant attempt. Big putt for par coming up. Can't have that happen. And that signs off on today's round. That would have been nice to have the other shot. Rich, I could see you on the edge of your seat all day. It really was one of those cliffhanger uh, performances. Wyoming has a 307. Hey, Absolutely. you should play the course I just made. The it's called Sony possible, Lakes. But I okay, say, um, one stroke I'll give it a try at nine. some point. But uh, we're well, currently playing my career. Our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke uh, definitely will give Thanks that a, a shot. We'll see you tomorrow. How's your night going? Okay, we are minus three going into round two. Lead. I'm not doing too bad. Uh, just the second tournament we played tonight. I think we got fourth place the last time or fifth place? Fifth place. Uh, tied for fifth. Not going too bad. Okay, looks like it's windy and here the today. Tour. Proud to bring you the season-long race. Yeah, we got the lots of you just here. made the list. Today's coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. Wyoming man, is thank about you to so much for Please, the you follow. Please join us for this second round action. Luke, oh. alongside a Rich Beam. Rich, this player has been playing some impressive golf. They've got the lead. They're where they want to yeah, be, but club up. what should be their mindset going into this round? Well, hopefully it's not on the chasing pack because the chasing pack is filled with some big names. So they're going to have to really bear down, yeah, focus on the task at hand. Half, They've maybe? got to sit there uh, and keep their emotions bad. to themselves and not get wrapped up in everybody else around them. Well, there's so much excitement and anticipation in the air. Oh, we're I can't off. wait to see how it plays out. Ooh, right by the hole. Yeah, that looked to be a bit of a misread. Just a four-footer remaining. Big par. Yep. Nice to make a mid-range par putt. Very the start nice par. The, uh, very round solid off. hole play. And now at three under overall. Time to tee off at the second. Really? Where do I want to put this? Seems to have chosen the three. Yeah. Oh, wow. Didn't really have the club. What happened there? No green in rig, but a chance to save their par. That's too hard. Ooh. Well, that shows the hands of a surgeon, doesn't Let's it? Go. My surgeon's hands were it's a little like shaky. That's why I have the scar. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to be too hard Ooh. and long. That was a touch of class. Wouldn't mind seeing that again. I'm glad we get to see this again. This one should be practiced see at home. Replay. Got lucky, I think, a little bit there, but. Nice little chip in from 21 yards out. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. We're minus four. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. There's a lot of intimidating tee shots on this golf course, Luke. This could be number one. Water down the left-hand side, you obviously want no part of. But if you miss it right in the rough, that is very gnarly and nasty to come out of. The green works away from uh, the player, moving from right to left. The miss is out to the right, but watch out. It's awfully quick coming down that green. Don't chip it or putt it in the water. Okay, hold on. Well, this one's right at the pin. Just six feet a good call. here in the hole. This is their look at birdie. Ah, Ooh. we screwed up the putt, though. And that should secure the par on this one. 
is currently sitting in first place. Here we are at the fourth hole. Yes, Luke, you got out of bounds on the right-hand side. That shouldn't come into play for the players, but those bunkers down the left-hand side certainly will. If you get a good tee shot away and you find the fairway, the second shot uphill yeah, this to this par, par five, five, you can reach, but still lots of trouble lurking around this green. Is there anything classier than someone that could hit a driver off the deck? Yeah, that one will play. And here we are with the third shot. Now a three-shot lead over the field. Oh, that's not good. Never put enough power in it. Now four under par. Currently in the lead. Yeah, I think this is going to be our bad Time hole. Time for the fifth shot. Ooh, yeah, this is going to be our bad down. hole. Putting for a bogey. Well, they say It'll a bogey, bogey pleases someone. The rest of the field buoyed now after that drop shot by our leader. We have a par four on this one. Stop. Yeah, that's just not going to work for him. Henny, how's that ball lying? It's tough to see from here. Looks like they have a good lie here in the first cut. Yep, solid connection. This is looking good. Not bad. Terrific approach and a chance for a birdie here on the fifth. Oh, a 12-footer. Love to make a few of these today. This one's dialed in. Nice. Here's HV3. Back up to minus four. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. And this is quality play, still on top of the Minus leaderboard. Four. Let's go. Welcome to this hole. It's a par five. Already in the lead, looking to extend that. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Second shot here on the sixth. Oh, no. Okay, we're... Here's a look at John Rahm from there earlier. for a second I thought it was going water. What we Getting got ready here? to play their third. This for Eagle. Currently leading by a three. Good shot there, Vima. Hey. And this putt will take them to five under par. Looking for another birdie here. It was on a Ooh, good just missed. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. Yeah, hey. we'll take that. Still in the lead now after that hole. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. Finally, you have a green that pitches back towards you ever so slightly, Luke, but still coming into it with a good six five iron from 195 yeah. yards. It's still a difficult task to get it close. And Henny, what are they looking at here? This one will run uphill. Need to go more. No, that's too bad. And this putt coming up for his par. Big well, that hole's behind us. More to play. It's time to begin this powerful hole. Love this tee shot here, Luke. The fairway camera's pretty good from right to left, kicking the golf ball towards that no, bunker. So stop. make sure to take one ah. last club off this tee. From there, you make sure that you take enough club for your second shot to carry the front edge. If not, that golf ball will come falling back off the green into the drink. Now let's switch our focus Just want to, to get Justin past that Thomas. water. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. And here we are with the third shot. Now a three shot lead over the field.
Oh, God. This is a par putt. No. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And that was a bogey by oh, our leader. So the rest of the field feeling a little opportunity here to close the gap. Trying to forget the bogey on the last as they step onto the tee. That's in the bunker. Oh, just over the bunker. Okay. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? Setting up here from about 175 yards. You really got that one out there. Fantastic drive. Club up. I like this play. Justin Thomas, who? He looks like he's having an absolute blast out there today. That was a fantastic shot into this green. Oh, so close. Putting for par. Now, oh, that's got to be frustrating. Right, it's such a, a great approach par. shot in, but wasn't able to convert. Here we go. The tenth hole. Players have looked at this hole differently over the years. It used to be just a layup shy of that okay, bunker down the right hand bounce. side. But with a favorable win, we're seeing a lot more players take out driver and take it over that bunker, leaving a very short second to a green that is slightly elevated. But not a bad approach. He'll be putting. Already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. Don't want to state the obvious, Rich, but uh, a little too hard, that one. Putting for a par now. Nice hey, little putt to hold that one. The lip. Now let's head over and see what JT's been doing. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? And now we can take a look at how that play affects the leaderboard. Hey, now we're tied for first. Teeing off here at the 11th. And taking aim from around 100 yards here. Currently tied for the lead. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Okay. Oh, that's a great shot. And a birdie opportunity coming up here at the 11th. Get excited. This could go in. Yeah, it'll be frustrating inches from making that putt. Big par. And this effort by Justin Thomas. Coming off a bogey on the last hole. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. So after that effort, let's take a look at the leaderboard. And there's no hey, movement on the leaderboard after first. that hole. Let's see what happens here at the 12th. Oh, that's a bad spot. Oh, Henny, that looks like a putrid lie. Is it bad? Oh, no. This is nasty. Just Play no. Henny, what have they got in front of them here? Setting up this shot with the wind in their face. I'm pretty sure they had their sights set on hitting the green there. Got to believe the wind affected the golf ball there. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Oh, a lovely opportunity to save par hey, here. Par. He finds himself in a share of the lead. Now it's time to take a look at this 13th hole. That swing reminded me that. of so smooth jazz. Great rhythm. Sitting at three under par. In a share of the lead. Just a little off with the accuracy there. Unable no, to find the green spot. Wind is absolutely swirling in this part of the golf course. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. Off. This putt right on 12 feet to the hole. Nice little par putt here. This is a good chance. Oh, oh so close. Bogey. And down it Minus goes. Two. Let's head to the next. 
Now let's switch our focus no to longer Justin the Thomas. Leader. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Currently a couple under for the Back event. In place. Teeing off now on the 14th hole. This is such a difficult hole because it, this tee shot lines you up over on the left-hand side where you'll find those bunkers. But if you bail out to the right, well, now you're running into a low area that you have a pretty difficult chip shot to a green that historically is the firmest and fastest on this golf course. Don't really have the club for this. Okay. Opting for the five wood. That's some good golf right there. Well, Rich, you think it make this one? Luke, I gotta say, I don't like their chances. I, I have been wrong once before, but I really can't remember when that was. Oh, that's that's just missed. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's okay. for par. Our current leader is in two shots a back two stroke lead. lead. Now. Time to face a par four. Strong par four, your dog legs from left to right. Don't miss it out to the right in that bunker. Not only will you be hitting your second shot out of the trap, oh, but the also you've got some magnolia trees to deal with. This is a very difficult fairway to find because that fairway does chase away from you just over that bunker. This is a very That's strong par shot four. From there. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Just got to trickle this one in the front door. It's downhill. Ouch, that hurts. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. Okay, par. Now let's head over and see what JT's been doing. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Teeing off here on the 16th hole. That drive, heading straight towards the cut stuff. 321 up. From about 200 yards out. Just two shots behind. Looks to be going with the five iron. That's it's tidy. Like, looks still like a putt And this effort by Justin Thomas. Jeez, we can knock it down. their last hole. Let's return to live play now. A chance to move deeper under the card. This putts for four under. That was a gallant attempt. Oh, we just missed the eagle. The birdie putt here. We'll take just the two shots back after that hole. Two shots back on the lead. Ting off here on the 17th hole. This hole causes more stress for the players, I think, than any other hole in the golf course, with possibly the exception oh. of number three. This green is nearly impossible to find. Got no as win it on that so one. so firm historically through the years. You find the green, you make your three, and you're smiling earlobe to earlobe. Oh, that's too hard. Sent that flying. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Or if he holds this, it will be a solid 19-footer. Oh, this looks pure. It's just hold in drop. This is a bogey putt coming up. Currently two under for the event. There were three shots back. A long par now. four, this hole. It does. This is actually a semi-blind tee shot. There's a mound down the right-hand side of the fairway where you can't see the golf Slow. balls land. So players won't know whether they found the fairway or missed it right or even out on the left-hand side. Most iconic moments in all of golf, in my mind's eye, Robert Gomez holding his second shot here back in 1990 to claim the title. Uh, clever play, that. Just get it back into the fairway. Getting ready to play their third. Three shots off the lead. And here we are with their fourth. Just three back from the leader. Mm -mm. Straight out of the top draw. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make oh, it. Yeah. And that'll be all she wrote today. Well played. And as this We're round winds down, today. he finishes in that a turn for second.
On behalf of Rich Beam, Henny Koyak, John McCarthy, I'm Luke Elvey saying so long from 2K Sports. Free shot of lead, uh, back in the lead. Okay, round number three. Sports in association with the PGA Tour win? is delighted no to present win, really. the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this third round action. G'day everyone, Luke Elvey here with Rich Beam and Rich, this next golfer, as they begin their round, what do you think of their chances? Currently in the top five, so they're having a decent go of it at the moment, but still plenty of golf yet to be played. Ooh. Let's find out what they have. Off Can they make the that flag. push to get higher up on the leaderboard? Well, it's time for the preamble to be set aside. Let's get into the action. Start off He's with a birdie. In the second position. Go. Oh. Looking to ride the momentum after coming off a birdie here with this shot. Could have almost had two hole in once. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. All right, back to back birdies. Yeah, that. Good birdie. And I like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. Currently at minus three for the event. Always positive coming off a birdie. Okay, Let's see a little what bit of here. wind here. There's a lot of intimidating tee shots on this golf course, Luke. This could be number one. Water down the left hand oh, side. You obviously want safe. no part of. But if you miss it right in the rough, that is very gnarly and nasty to come out of. The green works away from the player, moving from right to left. The miss is out to the right, but watch out. It's awfully quick coming down that green. Don't chip it or putt it in the water. That's bad, Chip. Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. Yeah, they par though. We'll take that. No minus three. Currently at three under for the event. One shot Teeing back at of the, the lead. lead. Yes, Luke, you got out of bounds on the right hand side that shouldn't come into play for the players, but those bunkers down the left hand side certainly will. If you get a good tee shot away and you find the fairway, hey, the that's second a good, shot, shot uphill to this par five, you can reach, but still lots of trouble lurking around this green. Oh, I thought I was going to be able to get up and over that with the wind. That's my line. That's okay. Stop it. You can't Got a little that. greedy. Well, they've found the bunker, but a chance to maybe save from there. This putt to move into a tie for first. Oh, that's a nice line. I'll take birdie. Oh, that's a ripper. And with that, he'll move to four under par. And that makes him tied for first. Tied for the lead Teeing again. Here at the fifth. Oh, I could watch that swing all day. That's beautiful. And Henny, what's he looking at here? And from about 105 yards... Oh, that's that's a bad definitely shot. left of the green. Okay, I guess. This would be a great up and down. Oh, I thought that one Just was going missed. in. A chance to save the par if he can make this one. There's yeah, the nicely though. This guy is we are the now the out of it this week. leader. Time to tee off at the sixth. In the lead, he could extend it with a birdie or an eagle on this oh. short hole. That was a little untidy, wasn't it? Penny, that ball seems to be sitting down. Is it bad? 
Looks like they have a good lie here in the second cut. This shot coming from around the 150 yard marker. He leads the field by a stroke. Oh, I like that strike. This one's hitting well towards the green. Decent. Trying to get to five under with this putt. He's staring down a birdie putt here. Oh, just missed. Just a tiny putt is all that remains. Her. Now two shots Ooh, up. Yeah, two shot that one. Now. Deep into the front nine. Here we are at the seventh hole. Finally, you have a green that pitches back towards you ever so slightly, Luke, but still in coming here. into it with a good six, five iron from 195 yards. It's still a difficult task to get it close. Whew. That is a delightful oh, bunker shot, Paul. This putt for par here. Job That's done. Par. Let's head to the next. One shot. This has to be one of the more difficult holes in golf. The long par four. Love this tee shot here, Luke. The fairway camera is pretty good from right to left, kicking the golf ball towards that bunker. So make sure to take one less club off this tee. From there, you make sure that you take enough club for your second shot to carry the front edge. If not, that golf ball will come falling back off the green into the drink. All right, we're going with an extra hey, club here. The green. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. Ooh. That's a disappointing stroke. That's a push. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Just three feet to the cup. Hey, Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. Quite often All the hardest hole in golf. A long par four. Ah, a good shot. Just let that shot be water off a duck's back. And what's in front of them there, Henny? He's looking at nice round number 180 here. Not sure if they got that one flush. This might not find the fairway. And here we are with the third shot. Currently in the lead by a shot. Oh, but sitting at minus this. four. Currently in the lead. Oh. Okay, Henny. What's he looking at with this putt? All right, down the hill here. Got to be gentle. Was well, that a good line? This putt's about four feet from the hole. Double and bogey. Maybe some cracks starting to appear in this yeah, player's foundation. The third place. They've just dropped a double bogey. Just like that. Always love a new beginning. Here we are at the opening hole of the back nine, the tenth. Players have looked at this hole differently over the years. It used to be just a layup, shy of that bunker down the right-hand side. But with a favorable win, we're seeing a lot more players take out driver and take it over that bunker, leaving a very short second to a green that is slightly elevated. Getting ready to play their third. Just one stroke back in this tournament. Yes! And that will take him to three under. Oh, what a shot that was. So, Why don't we revisit the magic? I saw this shot in. was absolutely perfect. Looks just as nice on the second viewing. And as we move along to the next hole, they're currently tied for the I lead prefers. with John Rahm. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. <laughs> Nicely done. And playing this one from around 120 yards out. He shares the lead. Uh... We need this one to bounce right. Okay, kind of ended up to get to four under with this putt. I know, All right, guys. This for two birdies in a row. Okay, steady now. Three feet to go here to the hole. 
Oh, that's a clutch par. The leader now has clutch. a one-stroke advantage. Let's head to the 12th hole, shall we? a boy. Good shot. Still chasing their first win of the season. Multiple top fives this year. I guarantee a win at some point in the year. Looks like this one's going to the beach. Went for it. This sand shot awaits. Nice. He's playing their fourth shot. He's right in the hunt. Just a shot off the pace. Oh, that's the hands of a surgeon. I'll say lovely touch. Gotta say, his short game One shot is back. phenomenal. I'll say the 13th is an unlucky number, but I don't see it for you. The tee is yours. Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. From about 100 yards, only one shot off the pace. He's had a disagreement with the caddy. He's gone down a club. Wonderfully played. And this putt is to move into a share for the lead. Now that's how you roll the rock. Mark it down, that's a birdie. Number five. And that will take him Minus to the four. four. He's currently in a share of top Tied spot. for the lead. All right, getting into our final stretch. Time to tee off here at the 14th. This is such a difficult hole because it, this tee shot lines you up over on the left-hand side where you'll find those bunkers. But if you bail out to the right, well, now you're running into a low yeah, area that, that you have left. a pretty difficult chip shot to a green that historically is the firmest and fastest on this golf course. And here we are with the third shot. He's currently tied for the lead. Didn't that look good for a long time? Barely yeah, missed sadly, that that'll just be a bogey here. Next Here, up back is this par place. four hole. Strong par four, your dog legs from left to right. Don't miss it out to the right in that bunker. Not only are you hitting your second shot out of the trap, the bunker, but anyway. also you've got some magnolia trees to deal with. This is a very difficult fairway to find because that fairway does chase away from you just over that bunker. This is a very strong par four. A few shots under par at the moment. Currently second place. Wonderful shot. And that'll promote 30. a good move up the standings. Let's go. And let's have another look at that one. Yeah, Seve would be envious of this one. What a chip in. And this player's moving up on the leaderboard after that hole. I'd prefer. We have a par five at this one. Nice birdie back there. On to the next. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Second shot here on the 16th. Opting for the hybrid, I think. That's not good. Hoping for a bounce here, preferably to the left. Getting ready to play there. This is for Eagle. He shares top spot. Seven footer right here. Little birdie look in here. Looks good. Let's go. And mark it down. Birdie. birdie number seven on the scorecard. And that will take him to five under. Back in, in with the lead. Position. Teeing off now on this par three. This hole causes more stress for the players, I think, than any other hole on the golf course, with possibly the exception of number three. This green is nearly impossible to find as it is so firm historically through the years. You find the green, you make your three, and you're smiling earlobe to earlobe. And he's down there. You got a read? Setting up this putt 29 feet from the cut. Ooh. Just missed the birdie well, putt. Yeah, it's a bit disappointing. Four feet to the cup. And go. still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. And now teeing off on the final hole of this round. 
It does. This is actually a semi-blind tee shot. There's a mound down the right-hand side of the fairway where yeah, you can't see the golf that. balls land. So players won't know whether they found the fairway or missed it right or even out on the left-hand side. Most iconic moments in all of golf, in my mind's eye, Robert Gomez holding his second shot here and back in 1990 to claim the title. The chance to move to six under the card with this putt. Ooh, you oh, like me have thought that had a chance. And that brings an end to today's play. Let's head to the goals. Oh. Through 54 holes, this wonderful golf continues. Hey, we got a one shot leader lead. in the clubhouse. Always good to be out in first place. That means you can afford to make a mistake tomorrow, but you don't want to make too many of them with the chasing back and lurking behind. Do not want this song. Sports in association with the PGA Tour proudly presents the season long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. Hello, everyone. I'm Luke Elvey. Great to have my mate Rich Bean beside me. And Rich, as this next player begins their round, the green. what do you think of their chances here today? Should be a lot of nerves. They got the lead. They've been sleeping on it overnight. That is never an easy thing to do. Almost an uncomfortable situation at times, but they are playing well, so they have that confidence going into the final round. But this is going to be a tough after the right to line. We just Can't have to wait to see what unfolds. A right a par power, putt on sorry. the table. Ooh, nice looking putt. Hey, we'll take par. Yeah, good job. Nice par. That's a rock solid par right there. Currently five under for the event. Here we are at the second tee. Go with a three wood here. Yep. And this one might just sneak off the fairway. This would be a great up and down from this spot. How close was that to going down? And here we are we with the third shot. You gotta do something. Yeah, that's a touch of class. Terrific little chip. You better believe hey, it is great oh, stuff yeah. to watch. Hide for the Here we are at the third. There's a lot of intimidating tee shots on this golf course, Luke. This could be number one. Water down the left hand side, you obviously want no part of. But if you miss it right in the rough, that is very gnarly and nasty to come out of. The green works away from the player, moving from right to left. The miss is out to the right, but watch out. It's awfully Throwing quick injury. coming down that green. Don't chip it or put it in the water. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? Yeah, I think he's got around 135. Going with the pitching wedge here. Needs a little ground help to the left. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? Has to put this one downhill. That'll sting a bit. Oh, good chance, this one. Right on six feet. Hey, Double that's bogey. a chance. That gets the job done. So a little slide happening here on the leaderboard. See if he can bounce back. Got a lot of work to do now here. A par now a five hole awaits. Yes, Luke, you got out of bounds on the right-hand side. That shouldn't come into play for the players, but those bunkers down the left-hand side certainly will. If you get a good tee shot away and you find the fairway, the second shot uphill to this par five, you can reach, but still lots of trouble lurking around this green. Nicely done. A couple under at this stage. Just a couple of spots behind the leader. 
Eh, look out left. You got a putt and a half here. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two putt that for sure. This thing is a long way, but I tell you what, I've seen it Birdie. happen before, so there's a chance. Yeah, that's well judged. He's got a par putt here. Big Let's par. see if he can make it. Our leader Three is shots a couple back of shots up at this now. stage. Let's see what happens here at the fifth. That's nicely done. And what are we looking at here, Henny? He's got roughly 105 yards here. They get a little ground draw here. Now, this is a challenging one. A lengthy putter waits. This is what they have left for Birdie here. Ah, that's frustrating. Right on four feet. Should make this one. Looking good so par. far. Solid par putt, that. Trailing by a few shots after that hole. Here we have a short par five. A chance to take advantage. <laughs> ah, great shot. Time for the second shot here at the sixth. Went for broke. Well, that's up near the green there, Rich, in just a couple of shots. That's fantastic stuff. It's an aggressive play, Luke. Like to see it on this par five. Ooh, wouldn't that have been Ooh, nice? That would have been a nice recovery beautiful. there. Such soft hands. Eagle. That was pretty straightforward. Okay. And with Two that, shots we back move and to under par. Ting off here at the seventh. Finally, you have a green that pitches back towards you ever so slightly, Luke, but still coming into it with a good six, five iron from 195 yards. It's still a difficult task to get it close. And this putt to move them into a tie for second. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? It's okay. We'll take part. An opportunity to make a par here. Managing to maintain Still their position on the leaderboard after that effort. Setting up now on a par four. Love this tee shot here, Luke. The fairway camera is pretty good from right to left, kicking the golf ball towards that bunker. So make sure Shit. to take one less club off this tee. From there, you make sure that you take enough club for your second shot to carry the front edge. If not, that golf ball will come falling back off the green into the drink. Getting ready to play their third. He's two shots back. Ooh, that almost went down. Off to... What have they got in front of them here, Henny? This is a 12-footer here. This one's tracking. Nice par putt. That's a good sign of a player's character, Rich. Still managed to make something out of the hole. In the bunker two with shots their back. tee shot. Nice save indeed. Let's head to this lengthy par four. <laughs> Playing from around 160 yards. Just a couple back from our leader. Easy. That's Take an it. absolute ripper. What a shot. Gotta like their chances from there. This putt coming up is for birdie. Not a bad line. Not a birdie. Miss. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. Minus four. That, we got the we'll back two, nine left. One shot off he the lead. Currently sits in third position. Taking off now on the tenth hole. Players have looked at this hole differently over no. the years. It used to be just a layup, oh, no, shy good, of that good. bunker down the right-hand side. But with bunker. a favorable win, we're seeing a lot more players take out driver and take it over that bunker, leaving a very short second to a green that is slightly elevated. This needs just a little work to the left-hand side. Lot on the line here. This putt for a share of top spot. Ooh, oh. right by the hole. Oh, I don't mind 
this par putt. Par. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. Still one shot back. Making it up on the 11th hole here. Oh. That's a bit out of shape. Handy effort, that one. High pressure moment here. This for a share of the lead. That was a gallant attempt. This putt just five feet away from the hole. Good looking putt. Yeah, there's power. Oh, that's good grit there. Nicely done. Well fought hole Minus right four. there. Bunkered off the tee, but makes that nice par Little shade. shot back. Teeing off here on the 12th hole. They've played nicely, but no wins next to their name. A couple of top fives so far this year, Luke, but hasn't gotten the W yet, but it's close. That's a poor lie. Will he be able to get out of here? He's gonna need a digging truck, maybe? I don't think a sandwich is good enough Very to slow. get this out. And this part to move into a tie for first. If that's the right pace, this should drop. Oh, that's, that's a tie for first. Bomb, and with it, puts extra strain on the person chasing behind them. Checking in on the right now, now, and they're currently tied for first alongside John Rahm. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. Oh, absolutely flushed. Well, that's well judged. Hole high, right inside the range. What an opportunity to make a birdie. If it's up, it could be in. Oh, just, just didn't just. drop. Elevate the lead. Goes. Currently at minus Game five boy, now boy, for Thank you for the lurk. And an opportunity prefer. awaits as they step onto this tee of the par three. This is such a difficult hole because it, this tee shot lines you up over on the left-hand side where you'll find those bunkers. But if you bail out to the right, well, now you're running into a low area oh. that you have a pretty difficult chip shot to a green that historically is the firmest and fastest on this golf yeah, course. Part of this. Oh, these are good for the momentum, these ones. Right on eight feet. Good stuff today, especially the short game. Has hey, been really stay sharp alive. Today. Currently five under overall. Still tied. This hole is a par four, and it's a pretty lengthy one at that. Strong par four, your dog legs from left to right. Don't miss it out to the right in that bunker. Not only are you hitting your second shot out of the trap, but also you've got some magnolia oh, trees to deal with. This is a very difficult fairway to find because that fairway does chase away from you just over that bunker. This is a very strong par four. Nope. That's a tad wayward. Not quite finding the surface. Hard to control the distance when you're coming out of the rough. Big par saver coming up for this fella. See what we can do here. Looking good. Well, oh. that's a momentum maintainer. Woo. Well done. Yeah, with just a slim lead coming down that stretch. Anything oh, can happen. Oh, we have the lead now. And that fine play ensures they hold top spot play. on the leaderboard with Good John Rahm trailing in second place. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Uh, that's a little untidy. And Henny, what's he facing with this one? Setting up here from about 180 yards. This one's going to the right. This is for Eagle. And here we are with the third shot. 
He leads the field by a stroke. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Always That's nice birdie. opportunities, especially when it's for One birdie. shot lead. Leading by a shot after that hole. Now on the tee after a birdie. Fired up and ready for more. This hole causes more stress for the players, I think, than any other hole on the golf course, with possibly the exception of number three. This green is nearly impossible to find as it is so firm historically through the years. You find the green, you make your three, and you're smiling. Ten in for low, birdie. Just Minus building seven. upon his advantage, he keeps making the important plays. And Gives us a two-shot lead to going under. into the Incredible. final hole. And a chance to ice the tournament here. Holding the lead, playing the last. Oh, God. Ah, bit untidy, wasn't it? Henny, I'm sure you've got a better look of that lie. This is like a bad lie with a bit of grilled bad lie on top, oh. sprinkled with dashings of bad lie. Getting ready to play their third. He's got a two-stroke buffer. Oh, no. Oh, no. Lining up here for a chance to win the tournament. What a putt to make. Got a shot to win the tournament here. Oh, we so nailed it. Let's go. We win our first the tournament. Palmer Invitational champion. Congratulations. And what a week Oof. it was. A fantastic victory. Sensational victory. Take on down the owner one of the tours, Arnold Palmer Invitational. Way to go. Great win. Let's go. That is the putt for the championship right there. Well, Rich, you know just there how excited are this player is. Players never forget their first ever PGA Tour win, nor will Let's this go. player. Great job. Well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elby and Rich B., Thanks for tuning in. Catch you tomorrow. Arnold Palmer Invitational. I think that's actually a good uh, leaving off point. We destroyed Justin Thomas. Option. We have one eagle, 18 birdies. We got to get away from the bogeys. We had nine there and two double bogeys for the whole entire tournament. Let's go. We beat uh, Keith Mitchell by two strokes. Where does that put us on the FedEx leaderboard? It puts us only behind Tiger. And we get up to the rival, rival uh, tier up. That's good. No, we don't want to work with you, King. No titles. No to Wilson. So we are... What's that? 86 points away from Tiger? We got the Players' Championship next. We're still playing next PGA stream that we do. I uh, don't think I have one this week, y'all. Uh, I don't. We got Call of Duty tomorrow. Uh, sorry, we got NHL tomorrow night. Call of Duty Friday night. And Saturday, Sunday, more NHL. Uh, tomorrow night's NHL will be be a pro. Uh, Call of Duty, we're still working on long shots. And then NHL 24 for Saturday and Sunday. I have not decided what we're doing yet. Uh, let's see. Kick side of things. We'll just end. I don't have enough people to raid. And Twitch. We will go and raid. Got anyone playing PGA?
let's find someone. New. Glass. Go to. Rider713 Gaming. They are playing uh, PGA, so. I will see you guys tomorrow night, same time, for some Call of Duty.